many draft age guys do you have here tonight? Any draft age guys? Where are you? It's very scary. It's, it's a very scary thing because they're talking nuclear. You know, no matter what happens, nuclear. Nu everything's nuclear for crying out loud. You know, they say in the event of a nuclear blast, four out of every five people will be wiped out. Do you have any concept of how many people that is? There's not even going to be enough people left to recommend Trident. Is this getting any clearer? <laughs> Crayola is going to make boxes of 63 because Flesh Tone and Burnt Sienna are going to be the same crayon. <laughs> is this picture getting any clearer to you? <laughs> it's very scary. It's very scary. And you know, they say there's only one creature on Earth that will survive a nuclear holocaust. Do you know what that is? A cockroach. <laughs> You think we, the human species, supposedly the greatest, the most sophisticated of them all, you think we could learn from the lowly dirtbag cockroach? <laughs> Tell you something right now, I learned. I learned. I don't know about you, but when they drop that bomb, I am going under that refrigerator so damn far. <laughs> I'm not moving till that kitchen light goes out. <laughs> I'm there, baby. The day after, people be roaming the streets. My wife, my family. It's okay, they're in the cupboard in the Chips Ahoy bag. <laughs> they made it! They made it, man. They were sleeping on the raisin toast. Nobody even noticed them. Come on. Cockroaches know, too. They know, oh, they can't wait for us to screw up. Oh, they know they're gonna take over. They know they can have all the Triscuits they want. <laughs> they can't wait. You notice how arrogant they are lately? Oh, yeah, you catch them, you flick them on the, on the light, and they're like... <laughs> Come on. Come on, forget the raid. Drop the big one. Come on. <laughs> the little antenna, you know you want it. <laughs> they can't wait for us to screw you can, There are cockroaches at the Pentagon trying to figure out how many it takes to sit on the button. <laughs> they can't wait. They put little green dots on their backs and run across the radar screens. They're trying to throw us off. <laughs> Very, very frightening situation. It is. See, I don't even know any of you people personally. And yet, simply as a member of the family of man, I say to you, we must remove this specter which doth hang above us. Yes, I do. No, I'm serious. All right, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not being completely altruistic. I'm being a little selfish here. I know that for me personally, it's gonna be pretty tough to get laughs in the nightclub after the nuclear holocaust. <laughs> what the hell is my life gonna be like? Good evening, so uh, how many of you still have facial hair? Anybody? <laughs> hey, good to see you. Okay, here we go. These two Jews fused as one walk into a bar, see? <laughs> Excuse me, could you turn down the lights? <laughs> Sorry, it's the front row. Pardon me. <laughs> I don't trust the military. I do not trust the military. They get like $900 billion a year. You know what they do with half of that money? They camouflage trucks. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure you will. Don't you think we might be underestimating the enemy just a tad? <laughs> With this particular maneuver, they expect enemy soldiers in a field somewhere. <laughs> hey, 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 hey.
must have been a tree. I have friends who are doctors now, you know, and these guys were like the worst dude. They had to leave the country to study medicine. It's, it's a, do you know where they go? Anywhere? They go to Mexico to study medicine. Mexico. <laughs> That's the forefront of scientific technology. <laughs> what, do they got surgeons with their instruments slung across their chest? <laughs> the surgeon of Sierra Madre or something. <laughs> bandages? <laughs> we don't need no stinking bandages. <laughs> you guys have been great. Enjoy the rest of the show. Huh?